Welcome to your Saturday morning bar class. Again, my name is Charity. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, if you're new, I just joined a Springing into Whole30 group this past week. Um, so I invited some of my friends there. So if you're from that group and you're joining it for the first time, welcome. So again, this is an at-home quarantine style bar class. So don't expect fancy lights or music or any of that stuff. You just got to bring yourself and a good attitude and we will have a really good time. Again, uh, we just went through the equipment you needed. If you didn't catch that part, it is in the description box of this particular video. Um, we're going to be doing a warm up with all planes of motion. We're going to do a lot of lower body standing vertically integrated first. And we'll integrate some arms too, don't worry. Then we're going to hit the floor on some additional arms and some core work. So 360 on your core. And I'm sure your bottom half will get a little work there, but we're going to focus on your core. All right. So I think that's it. <laughs> so let's get started. I so we're going to start with narrow squats. We're just going down and up. Sit back into your heels. I like to even curl my toes up off the floor because that makes me be honest with where my backside is landing. It makes me sit back into my heels when there's <clears throat> excuse me no pressure allowed up through my toes. We go five, four, three. We're gonna go to alternating side leg lifts. So we're gonna squat and lift the right leg. It'll look like the left to you. So don't worry. You wanna mirror me? Beware of what I'm saying might be different than what you're actually doing. All right. No worries. We're gonna get both sides. We're gonna go four on each side. Smile because it's Saturday and you got up and you're doing something for yourself. Two more. One, toes toward the camera. And we're gonna repeat with that right leg. Squat and lift. Squat, lift. Like squat, lift. Squat. Lift, so repeat, repeating that same side. And four more, curl those toes up on the floor. Three, two, one. Now watch, we're gonna step out with the right foot, curtsy squat, and then pandu. Pandu just means to slide up and tap. So curtsy squat, pandu. So hopefully everyone enjoyed last weekend off. You can leave me a little comment and share what you did for Mother's Day or Women's Day. I'm a big believer that women, not just mothers, are big influencers in the lives of others. Right? We're all teachers and, and mentors. Okay, now watch, we're gonna turn into a combo. We're gonna go curtsy squat, plie squat, turn, turn both knees to the side, and a little, again, train track squat. All right, so one, I did two there, but we're just doing one. We'll go back to plie, and the whole thing starts again. So again, it's curtsy, up, plie, up, turn, down up, plie up. One more slow. Curtsy, play with your arms. There's no set arms. Now, you're welcome to stay at this speed. I'm gonna put on the gas, so here we go. Curtsy, plie, turn, plie, curtsy.
Get two more sets. This is one. Going for two. Now, work it back around. Plie. Turn it all over to her. Pulse. 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 Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Keep your legs in this position. Just straighten them up. And you're going to lift and lower. All ten toes forward. Right there. <laughs> and you have the option of lifting up for a little bang, as you see me doing here. If you want more of a stretch, you're right there. Okay. Just make sure those 10 toes are forward. Three, two, one. Step right here. Pull the back leg in. Push it out. In, out. In, out, four, pick up the tempo. Four, three, two, two, one. Bring it back out. We go to curtsy, curtsy squat on the other side. With a tondu, tap it out. Curtsy, tondu. Four more. Slide your back down that imaginary wall. Nice and tall. All right. So we go curtsy, plie, turn, plie. That's our combo. Slow, slow, turn, slow. Pick it up if you're ready or if your body says that's okay this morning. When you turn, your back feet create train tracks. I don't want you on a balance beam. There's a little bit of room. That way you have a stabilizer. A little bit easier on the balance. Two more. Two. I feel like you need to turn my music down. <laughs> Yeah. Turn and pulse. Pulse as I turn on my music. Keep pulsing. I don't want any feedback for you guys. I'm going to see my hair go up in a minute. Kind of at that stage. My hair is at that stage where I don't know if she <laughs> I've had a haircut in so long. Maybe you're in the same boat. But when I pull back my ponytail, it looks like one of those stubby ponytails. Who cares, right? <laughs> All right. And lengthen. Bring it down. Lengthen. Lengthen. Remember, you can releve or you're right here. Just stretch through. I'll step back so you can hopefully see my feet a little bit. Pull. Pull. We go to really reach out. Woo. All right, tap it in, extend out. Tap, extend. Three slow, two, put on the gas if you're ready. Tap, tap, four, three, two, one. Good, go to plie, give me some squats. Squats, and this is where I pull back my knees. Let's see. Checking out our list. Good morning to those of you who are checking in. <laughs> I get my words out of my mouth. So we're doing those plea squats, right? Let's go here and pull that. Nice and deep. Your range of motion is a personal thing. How deep you go is up to you. Keep in mind the deeper you go, the warmer you get. Okay, overhead reach with that. We go up and down, up and down. Keep going. Up, down, up, down. Go four, go three, 
Go two. Keep the arms, step it in. Go eight. Go seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. We're gonna come back around. Alternate the lateral lift because we got that left side. Start with alternating. We'll catch that left side. Don't worry. Four more sets. Four on each side. Three. Two. Be careful not to lean over. One. Squat. One. Now left side only. Or maybe that's your right. You're mirroring me. Up. Squat. Up. Squat. Up. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's get to our mats. Or if you're on carpet, you're set to go. We're going to walk ourselves out. Some people call this an inchworm. Four times. You get four steps with your hands. And then we're going to go to inner march. So we'll be in plank position. One first time if you want. One, two, three, four. Your knees in like you're marching. Now, you know, you don't have options with this. Keep going if you like this option. Okay? Another option. Get your chair. Elevate your body a little bit. Now, I want you to be out of plank. So, no booties up. Nice and flat like a plank of wood. And, of course, your other choice is to get on a wall. But still, you've got to tilt your body on the wall. So your arms are warming up because that's the one of the points of this particular position to warm our arms up as well. So don't just stand on the wall vertical. Give a little lean. Both your feet will be back and you'll be trying to do a march. All right. Or just or just lean. If the march is not that hard for you, that's fine. If you're ready to pick it up, go now. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Stand up. Breathe in. Come to chair sit pose. We put our arms up by our ears. We bend at the knees and we pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. I'll move the chair for a moment while I demo. While I demo option one. Again, we walk it out in turn four times. This time, we're gonna do jacks one leg at a time. So walk it out, four, three, two, one. Jack right, in, left, in. Right, left, right, left. If this is a good option for you, keep going. Make sure that booty's down. Keep going, keep going. As I demo the other options. Chair, chair option, back is flat. And then again, you can be on that wall, leaning with weight forward, flat back, booty in line, tap in, tap in. Here we go. Eight. Seven, don't shrink your shoulders up to your ears. Long it. Three, two, one. Walk it back up if you're on the floor or up as best as you can if you're on a chair. Breathe. Exhale. In the chair. Down you go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Six, five. Four, three, toes are up off the floor. There you go. Okay, we got one more hip on this particular set. This is not a long way to go. So we're going to do it together, and that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to walk it up four and form out, and this time we're going to do a Spider Man lift. So your knee comes to the outside, kind of touches that elbow, and comes back down. Here, I'll show you a little more. So walk it out. Four, three, two, one. Plank position. 
knee to elbow, knee to elbow, knee. You can do this on a chair or the wall. I've shown you that a couple times, so go ahead and get started. Four more. Three. Two. One. Booty down. Send it back in the child's pose. Because that was our last move. Bring it up deep breath. Down. Okay. Walk it out. It's stomach. You're going to need your chair. And your sliders. So this is where you find your slip floor or your furniture glides on the carpet or your paper plates on the carpet. Okay. Okay, so you'll put one under each foot. And we're going to start, start, excuse me, with a ski slow position. So lightly place your hands, lock in place if you're just watching me to get the move. Keep your heart rate up, okay? So lightly place your hands on the chair. I don't want you to bend over to the chair. I don't want you to grip the chair, okay? We call this two finger hold. It's just there for a little bit of balance. All right, so ski flow position. I'm gonna extend back with my right leg and bring it forward. And then I'm gonna alternate. Extend back with the left leg, bring it back, okay? And that's it. You just wanna make sure that your knee stays pretty much over your toes. Don't extend this way. So really slide back. And maybe your ski slope is more right here. That's okay. okay. Again, we're talking about range of motion and what each one of us um, are able to do what makes our bodies happy. Okay, so down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Push back. And as I pull, as I pull up, for example, with this right leg, I'm gonna dig my left heel into the ground and really let that assist on the pull up. Okay, so it's not all that extending left. Just be aware of that. Now we're gonna add on after this one set. So here we go, one right, one left. Now, extend back, same as four. We're gonna glide that extended leg out to the diagonal, bring it back behind us, and stand up. Same thing on the other side. So we extend back, my left leg, to the diagonal, come back, straight behind me, and stand up. I'm gonna move my mat. We're gonna do that one more time slow, and there will be an option to put on the gas. Extend, diagonal, extend, stand up. Behind, diagonal, behind, stand up. Let's go. Back, diagonal, back, up, back, diagonal, back. Up. I'm sorry if I'm turning away from the camera. Hopefully you can see, still hear me. I'm just having a mic at the gym. Ski, diagonal, ski, up. Ski, diagonal, ski, up. Finish it off. We're gonna repeat on the right side. So back behind, diagonal, back, up. Again, that same leg, back, diagonal. Back, up, back, 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 back. Really dig into that supporting leg. That's the one with your knee in front. We got three more after this. Bring it up. If you don't feel enough, I want you to get low around that bent front knee. One more. Okay, stay with that same working leg. We're gonna go all the way back. And then halfway, back, half, back, half, eight, seven, six, five, four. Make sure you're sitting straight down the pipe. We're going to set a four, three, two, one. Right here, extend it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Let go of the chair if it's making you lunge forward. Put your hands on your hips. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. You're down and hold. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, not the chair right here. And just use one hand instead of two. Did you like that chair? Slow, 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 slow up. All right, so shift position. Get off of those glides for a moment. I want you balanced. That same supporting leg is still on the floor, slightly bent. Now extend that back leg behind you and pulse, pulse, pulse. So my heel is still to the ceiling. My hips are forward. I'm not opening up. Up, up. So I'm lifting from the knee. Now I want you to lift from the hip. A little bit of change here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get back in those glides. We're going to do the whole thing again and hit our left side or whatever side you didn't do. Okay, so I'm going to turn. Actually, I'm not going to turn. What I am going to do, I can change my mind because I'm a teacher. I'm just going to pull my chair instead of in front of me because it was causing me to lean over. I'm a little vertically challenged that way. I'm going to put it off to the side. But we've got alternating skis in. Whoop, my ski got stuck. So just alternating straight back right now. Slide your back down that, that wall, down the pipe. Go four more sets. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one. Now, alternating with a diagonal. Out, diagonal, back, up, out, diagonal. Up, out, down. Two fingers hold on that chair. Test yourself. Could you let go for a moment? <laughs> if you can't, if this is something where you kind of lost your posture, focus on where you can tighten up in your body to keep yourself from depending on the chair, right? Is there a point where you kind of lean over and let go of that grip through your abdominals? All right, left foot only. Back, diagonal, back, up. Back, diagonal, back, up. Again, play with your hands. Up. You don't want to use the chair. Play with the position of your arms. Don't always do what's easiest. Work towards something that might be a little more difficult. Let's do one more set after this. Here we go. One, out, back, good. Take your hands off. We need to hit that shift position. Oh, excuse me. Who was going to say it out there? <laughs> we need to do pulses. So bring it back. And we bend our knees slightly. We pulse. I was going to jump ahead to the end, but I know you would have felt really cheated. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two. I want you to bend down and hold it. Static hold. Let me go to It makes me lean forward. Four, three, two. I want you to slowly, slowly come up. So good. Now we're going to hit that shift position. That's our right foot down and supporting. Knee slightly bent. We bring the foot up. Hips are forward, not open to the side. And first, just a silly little knee pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift, lift at the hip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now your cardio. You have ski slope cardio options. Walk for me. Okay, I'm gonna push for 30 seconds. You can do your move on speed. You can do it, excuse me, not on four speed, four range of motion, or four plyo. All right, I'll show you what each one of those looks like. Our cardio first will always be for speed, for range of motion, or for plyo, at least for today. Okay, and you get to choose, right? So for speed, put on both sliders, feet on both sliders. And you use your chair, pulse, pulse, ski, slow for speed. All right? For range of motion, you can tap down. 
Or if you want to use that chair, you can still tap down and switch up and switch up. Okay, that's range of motion. File always means doing the move with the jump. This is a long intro, but the next time we do a cardio, we're just gonna get right into it, okay? So plyo will mean with a little jump, okay? 30 seconds, you choose your poison, ready, go. I'm gonna do plyo. Or I can do this, if I don't wanna tap back with a jump. We got 20 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out, grab a drink. Don't leave your chair nice. Walk it out. Walk it out. Time is it? Oh my! We do a little talking, and I let you gather your stuff at the beginning. It'll look like we're going past 8.30, because we will. <laughs> but we'll be working out a full hour. Full hour. <laughs> All right. So anyway, chair. Turn it around. You're going to need a seat. We're going to do a tricep hold. So tricep hold. Get yourself in play position. Tricep hold is a hold where your elbows come back. To meet your rib cage. So if you saw me from the front, you would see this happening, not this. That's a traditional uh, plank push up position. Triceps a little different, a little harder because we don't do it a lot. But we're going to try. <laughs> try anything, right? Pull back. Again, you can use the wall or the floor. Last 10 seconds, we pulse, 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 pulse. 10, 9, 8. Now watch your midsection. Your belly button should be dropping. That's not pulsing. It's your arms. 2, two 1. All right, come down. All right. Let's hit it again. Yes, I do believe I need to go again. So check. Okay. So, lateral lunge. We did a lot of sagittal plane. Here comes the frontal plane. We need all of them, okay? So, I like to put one line under my foot, all right? Because I really need the other one to be firm to the ground. Let's see, let's look under my foot. Okay, I gotta read my own notes once in a while. I told you, you're my guinea pigs. Okay, so we're gonna just take that supporting line. That's the one without the glide, slightly bend it. And then we're gonna take the one foot that's on the glide and slide it out. And just stick your booty back. Bring it in. There it is. I'll show you from the side. Slide it out, stick your booty back. You got a little bell with a flat back going on. And bring it in. Okay? So let's do one more slow. Slide it out, get low, get low. And bring it up. Let's Let's push the tempo. If you're ready for that, let's go. Down, up. Now, if you want to add an arm reach, because you're practically there anyway, go ahead. Down, keep going. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now you're down here. I want you to come halfway in, halfway out. Half, half, go eight, seven, six, five, booty back, back flat, you know, two more, one, stick it out and pulse on that supporting leg. Not your back bowing, but your leg bending. So if you need to come up a little bit, that's fine. See that glider working? Weights right here, go four, go three, so two, I want you to hold it, hold it, whoo. Okay, okay, don't raise your hands right here, don't do that. I like to stick my hands back there, to be honest. Three, 
two, and really slow, really slow. Oh my goodness, really slow. <laughs> Coming up. We gotta do that on the other side, but first we're gonna shift. Don't forget about that shift. So this is where I grab my chair real quick. And I also don't really need my leg, but you left it there, that's fine. So get in that position as if you had a glide. Lift the extended leg and pivot your toe. Or think of it more as rotating at the hip. Not your knee. You see the toe pivot, but the move initiates from the hip. We're turning that butter, right? Avocado masher. I've heard it called a few things. And I really am shaking on that supporting leg. I've got a slightly bent. Three. Press. Two. Press. One. And up. All right. If you need to, and I do, extend that supporting leg, flex your foot, and bow over it, stretch it out. Oh, that feels so good. We're going to the other side. Keep this very handy. One glide is needed. We start with wow. It's hard work talking to you for an hour. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Lateral lunges. And we push it back and we bring it up. Full range of motion. Arm option. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep going. Smile. You can do this. Yes, you can. This is fine. You choose your range of motion. Go three, go two. Halfway, so here we go. In, out, in, out. Bend that supporting knee. Do not rest your hands on your thighs. Go four, go three, go two. Extend it out, pulse with your knee. Okay, and if you're right here, okay? Or maybe the pulse just isn't in there for you. All right, I'm talking to people with arthritis. Try going back to standing slides. We're pulsing now. If you are able to do that option, just keep moving. All right. If you rest, you rest. And that is a quote from one of my 70 something year old clients. Two, one, set a cold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. A little fast there. Three, two, I want you to come up slow. Okay, so, so, so slow. All right, let's get that shift. Get rid of the glide. Two finger hold if you're ready. Lift the extended leg, still bending. Twist from hip. Little avocado masher. Rotate through. So I don't see your waist. Okay, in and out the hip. That's it. That ball socket joint. In, out, in. Out eight seven six five four three two one beautiful cardio speed range of motion plyo or with jumps okay we're doing side speed skaters base move with one of those options or maybe you stay here Nothing wrong with that, but as long as it's working your cardio, your heart rate. Don't stay here. Nothing's going on with your heart. Three, two, one. Range of motion for me. Okay. I don't want you to just follow me if your body is screaming. We're fly over speed. We're halfway there. All right, keep going. So I stop. <laughs> Only so you stop following me visually, okay? We have good jumps. We'll just fly out. 10 seconds. Or you just have speed. Five, four, three, two, two. <laughs> okay, walk it out. Grab your water. Walk, 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 walk. Don't just stop. You move your arms with your legs. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. 
Obviously, because I look a little silly marching like this when I go back and watch myself. But if I pass it out, <laughs> it's going to look a lot sillier. Okay, so we're not going to worry about how we look. How do we feel? All right, so we go back to those static holds on the chair for our arms. This time, you remember we did a tricep hold last time. That was it. This time we're going to do traditional um, plank push up position. Now, if your chair is not wide enough to go on your table, I'm doing it on my table right now, okay? So my hands are pretty long because I'm pretty long. Did you know that your height is your wingspan? <laughs> so if you need something wider, you're gonna go to your counter, you're gonna go to the floor, you're gonna go to the wall. 30 seconds, plank, let's go. So I'm really close, so you can hear me like. <laughs> 15, 14, tummy's tight. This is active through your whole body, not just your arms. Bring those shoulders down. They should be sunk up around your ears. Go seven. Lower it if you can. Four, three, two. Slow up. Stretch it. You can go to child's pose if you're on the floor. If, even if you're on the wall, put your hands on the wall and lean into it. Stick your booty back. It's like the only time I'll be allowing you to do that. So. Stretch the arms. Come on out of that. Here we go again. We've got one more set. We're going to do first position squats with an option to do it on releve. Whoa, that's a lot of words. Don't worry about it. We'll walk you through about it. Through it. Okay. Chair is an option. Once again, keep your balance. Two finger hold. Don't lay on it. Not meant for the leg. Gliders out of way. You won't need them. Okay, first position. Heels kissing, toes turned out to a natural position. Don't try and pull your toes to 180 if it doesn't feel natural, okay? A little bit of angle is just fine. So we're just going to open that window, close, open, close. Now, if this is too easy, like I said, I'm going to get a little closer to my chair. <laughs> You have the option to do these on relevant. So I come up to the balls of my feet, not my tippy toes, because I want to be able to hold my own weight. My toes are not made for that. But we're just going to do this move on relevant. Hopefully, step back a moment. That's your second option. It does let you open up a little more. Keep those heels kissing. Okay, but you have to choose something that's working for you. Okay, you are straight down that pipe. Down, up. Do not bend forward, okay? Little ballet dancers do not stick their bones out. All right, we're still going. We've got eight, just the heels. Seven, six, five, four, keep going. Three, two, one. Now watch, we're gonna do alternating lateral steps. So squat down, side step, Together, up, down, side step, together, up, side. Now, you do have the option, once again, to get off your releve. So right here, I squat down, side step, together, kiss those heels, up. We got four more sets, four each way. We go back to releve, down, side, together, up, down. Side, together, up, go, three, up, here comes two, two, up, one more, here we go, one, side, one, up, one, side, and bring it down, and pulse, pulse, abdominals tight, pull it in. Legs are strong. You can go down to the feet. No releve. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it on the down for ten, nine, eight, seven. The legs are burning. Four, three, 
to slow up. Nice and slow. We turn the page, keep it warm. I believe we have a set. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we do. We have a shift in there. Okay, get back up as the show. <laughs> Come down. And here on our um, shift, we press our knees back. So think of an outer thigh press. Uh, Susan Summers, you know, little five master thing. Pushing up. So from the side, you're in your first position plie. I'm going to run away. I'm going to push, 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 push. You can do these with both feet on the floor as well. Just don't stick that booty back. Here, tap back, tap back, tap. Doesn't have to be big. We're just going to go for 15, 14, 13. Get those heels. I was letting my heels come apart. You check yours too. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Cardio coming up. We've got a plie jump. For speed, for range of motion, or it's already got a plyo in it. So just think of your plyo and your speed as the same thing, or whatever. Okay. If it's not for you, here you are. Okay. This can be your speed. Quick, quick. Three, two, one, go. Up. Speed or speed. For range of motion. Kind of like a little tight jumping jack, right? Or for plyo, same thing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, six are bringing two, four, three, two. One, woo! I think I cheated there a little bit. Work it, walk it, walk it around. Oh my mercy. How are we doing everyone? Right here. That's that little bun I told you about. Okay. We are going to do one more tricep static hold on your chair and then we'll hit the floor. Yay! Okay. So, tricep static hold, chair, floor, wall. You know, I kind of like to my like doing mine on the table. Are you okay if I get that close to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but remember, this way I give you a nice good view of elbows being glued to our rib cage. Okay. Triceps. That's this. Okay. For all our yogis out there. So here we go. Hold it. Hold it. Fifteen. Come on, we got this. Smile. You're almost there. You've got ten. On the wall, on the floor, either way, your back is flat. Elbows glued to your rib cage. Three, two, one. Push it up. Or if you're on the floor, you can go into that back stretch. You can do it here at the table. Whatever you need, folks. Stretch it out. All right. You're going to be seated on the floor, so you need something soft to sit on, and your light weights for right now. Keep your ball or your towel handy. We may or may not get to that. I'm hoping we do. How about that? <laughs> okay, so towel handy. Pull my chair over here. Pull my chair over there. I'm going to get my light weights. Okay. So we are going to do, yeah, we're going to do a serving tray curl. So let me show you the post. Serving tray, palms up, kind of opening up, kind of a little bit to the frontal plane. All right, you can do this move either crisscross applesauce, seated on the floor, or kneeling, depending on what your body likes. Okay, I know some of us have back or knee issues, so choose the crisscross. Okay, so. I'm going to do crisscross just for a moment to show you what we shouldn't be doing. So crisscross, 
I don't want to see anybody sink row right back here like you're in a recliner, okay? Good job. Okay, so if you're crisscross applesauce, I want you up on your sit bones. You should have just seen me literally come up forward on my chest and kind of pull those sit bones back. Now I'm on those sit bones. Okay, I've got my serving tray on my sit bones and I go forward into motion. I go up and down, up and down. Now, if you can't be honest with yourself, if you can't keep that flat back and up on your sit bones, I'm gonna have you stand up or go to your knees, okay? But that's part of the work, trying to keep that arms flat back, lifted position. Okay, let's go half range of motion. So we're gonna go halfway up, all the way up, or about 45 degrees. When we put the weights in our hands, it's 45 degrees. So half, 45, half, 45. That's because when we come all the way to the top with weights, this is the position where we stop doing work. The weights are just resting on our hands and there's really no work involved for us. So why would we waste our time with that? Let's stay fully engaged throughout the whole move. We've got four, three, two, one. All right, I want you to take it to the up position of our serving tray and pulse, pulse, pulse. And don't bring your forearm, excuse me, don't bring your bicep all the way down and rest on that body. I actually want you to stay hovering a little bit, pulse out and hover. That way, again, we stay engaged the whole time. Time. Don't come back and rest. And rest. Here. Check your back. It's a flat. Open up the chest. Use your trapezius, your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one. Now, halfway up, go down, 45 degrees. Not all the way down to the floor. That's a rest. 45, half, 45, half. We should be engaged. We've been engaged since we hit the beginning of this move at a full range of motion. So if you haven't released your arms since then, you should be feeling it. Maybe even if you have released your arms. We want to feel it. Lightweight, long lean muscles. Flat back, up the pipe, extend your beautiful ballet dancer's bodies. We go four, four, three, two, one more time with the pulse. Go up to the W, hover above your body, and we pulse, pulse, pulse. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we're going to do seated <clears throat> torso twist. You guys bring in your ball. Or your chest, sorry. I'm just saying ball. And I'm going to correct myself in the beginning. I had you um, hot dog fold it just once. Unroll it. Hot dog fold it twice. So here's one. Because we need more thickness than that. We just didn't get to a move that I had planned for the other way. And that's okay because we've been working hard. <laughs> that just means I have more for next time. And that's okay too. <laughs> this coming week, my daughter actually goes through her quote unquote graduation ceremony. And my third grader has a little drive by celebration. And it's year beer, yearbook pickup for my ninth grader. So I like having extra stuff to carry over to the next week. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need that little help there. Okay, so we've got our towel, it's wedged between the floor and our lower hips. So seated, torso twist, all right? Russian twist if you haven't heard of those. So feet on the floor in front of you, recline. I want you to feel the earthquake, a little shake, and twist your elbow, your left elbow goes to the back, your right elbow, Goes to the back. So you see me trying to make contact with the floor. If it doesn't happen, that's okay. But up center, twist back. Up center, twist back. Up, twist, up, twist. Now, if you want an option, put those weights in your hands. Up, twist, up, twist. You want more of an option? Get rid of the towel or the ball 
and fight for a boat pose. Twist. This is very advanced. Don't do it if you're flopping all over the place. You need to be controlled in the center and be able to turn the and tap. You can turn and tap those elbows without constantly falling. If you flop once around, it's okay. It means you're getting there. If you do it all the time, it means you need to put that towel right back away. Keep going. We've got eight more. We go eight, up, eight, up, seven, up, seven. Keep going. This is it. I can't see my clock, but I think this is it. <laughs> promise is promise. Here we go. We go three. Three, up, three, up, two, up, two, and one, and one. Slip over to a seal. That's you on your back. Stretching those abdominals, the ones you just worked. <laughs> Stay there. I gotta check the clock. And it's on my computer, so you're gonna get a great shot on my face. Ooh, four minutes, just enough time to stretch. <laughs> Keep stretching. Okay, so you're in that heel stretch. I want you to come back to child's pose. So Back on those knees, sit back, sit back, sit back, and stretch. Really lengthen your armpit, for lack of a better word, the technical word. So you're going to pull back, kind of feel it through the center of your armpit, right under your shoulder. Don't just lay there, but use an active stretch there. Okay, and you're going to take this hand, your right hand, or your left, doesn't matter. You'll lace it underneath the opposite arm. Palm is up, and you're going to lay into that shoulder, the one that has the arm extending under. Don't lay too much into it. You want it for later. And go ahead and drop your head down. I'm turned so you can hear me. I don't have a mic, but it really is best if your neck stays in line with your spine. I want you to turn and look at your mat. Throw up your head. Okay, other side. Extend the, the arm you had underneath. That's my right hand. My left hand goes underneath, and my left palm is up to the ceiling. And I'm going to again lay down into that shoulder. And this time I'll drop you with. Or, drop you. This time I'll join you with my neck and my wood. Okay, my friends, give me a few cat cows. Up. Chin to chest. Put your belly button to the mat. Lift your chin to the sky. Do it again. And down we go. Okay, so come up to downward dog position. Right here. Shake up those legs. Pedal. You're pedaling the bike. Up. You really want to try to drop the front so your ears are in line with your arms. That's just flexibility. Or positioning up on the you know, bring them out. Okay, you're gonna walk it back or just bring your feet forward. Okay, you're still dropped. Inch position. Shake your head now. Up and down, yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stand up one vertebrae at a time. Up, up, up. Keep the head dropped to the last moment. If you feel dizzy, and I do. Do some jumping jacks, something with a bounce, get things even back out, equilibrium. Okay, let's do a few arms. Across, palm up. And again, if you're still feeling dizzy, we're going to sit down for a moment. But again, if you try to stand up and you feel dizzy, you might want to try that trick. <laughs> Up, 
it open. Drop it. Going on my taps. Side to side. Oh, I can't wait to get back to my chiropractor. Right there. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Whenever that is. When I feel comfortable with that scenario. <sighs> okay, friends. That is it for us this week. And you got an earful about... Um, what I've been doing and what I'm going to do this week, feel free to drop comments about your upcoming week or what you did for Mother's Day. We'll just keep it all in the family, all right? Um, we'll have another routine next Saturday, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. Um, whatever this COVID-19, whatever the scenario is for you, I'm glad you're here making time for me, and I'm glad you're staying healthy and active. So... Bless you um, and stay happy, stay healthy. We will see you the next time around. Okay.